CP football is an adapted uh, format of 11-a-side football, but it's designed specifically to meet the needs of players with cerebral palsy or related neurological conditions, um, which includes players who maybe have had strokes or acquired brain injuries. Um, but we have different types of football for under-19 youth players, for adult players, um, also female CP football, and we are working to develop frame football as a version of the game for players with high support needs. In IFCPF we have a four years tournament cycle. Uh, in the odd years we have always the World Championships and the World Cup. And in the even years we have the regional championships. And the regional championships are main qualifiers for the World Cup and for our top A tournament or the Paralympic Games. Uh, besides this, we have also a regional championship for under-19 players and a World Cup for under-19 players. We have 30 minute halves, so we have shorter half times. Uh, we have no offside loss because we play seven aside. That also means that our field is smaller and therefore we eliminate the offside to encourage the attacking play in a smaller field, as well as a roll in. So we allow a roll in uh, really just to get the ball moving again. One of the other changes for us, because it's a smaller field, we also have smaller goals. Uh, and that again allows for the goalkeepers to be able to, to be mobile and still make the saves within our match. The number of substitutes, we, tend, we allow five, but only three opportunities to substitute. So there's some smaller elements to that, but really those are the three big ones. Classification has three stages, uh, called the athlete evaluation session. When the athlete come, go to the physical assessment with a doctor or a physio, or both of them, and we evaluate if they have the eligible impairment, that is atetosis, ataxia or hypertonia and we evaluate if this impairment is enough to be eligible to uh, CP football, in that case meet the minimal impairment criteria. After this assessment, in the technical assessment we evaluate the performance or some performance tests, is the jumping, running, chain of direction ability, passing, etc. And at the end we perform a two against two situation, so we call four players at the same time and with a GPS device we evaluate some uh, performance variables like uh, time sprinting, maximum speed, accelerations, etc. This is the second step. Uh, after these two steps, we provide to the players a class and a an status. The status usually is observation assessment. The observation assessment is the athlete go to this class, is FT1, FT2 or FT3, go to the competition and the classifiers observe the performance of the player in a real competition. If this performance match with the impairment in the physical assessment and the performance in the technical assessment, the athlete receive or a confirmed class, so don't need any classification anymore or review fish date or review for another competition. The three classes are FT1, FT2 and FT3. FT1 is the athlete with the most severe impairment. FT2 is the one with moderate impairment. FT3 is the one with the minimal impairment criteria in the following three profiles. A, B, and C. A is the athlete that has bilateral spasticity, spasticity in the lower limbs that affects the performance, for example, to change direction, or when they follow through after a kick, etc. The second profile is B. B are athletes with athetosis or ataxia. These people have coordination impairments, involuntary movement during coordination, or impacts the fluency of the movement. For example, running short or long distances, kicking a ball, or stopping after an acceleration. The last one is Profile C. Profile C are people with unilateral spasticity or hemiparesis. These athletes have spasticity in one half of their body, right 
or left. So we have three profiles, A, B and C. And all these profiles are ranked in severity in the classes FT1, FT2 or FT3, from most severe impairment to minimal impairment. I'm the chair of the International Women's Cerebral Palsy Movement and it's very exciting because we have uh, women from all different areas of the world. Really our thrust is to get CP Women's Football moving. We want it to be a big movement just like the men are. We're get, trying to get it, you know, step by step. We're getting there. We want to see more regional um, tournaments happening and then, of course, uh, on the international front um, coming up. We're very excited at the participation level that we have and we are just really looking forward to a lot more support worldwide <laughs> just to get everybody out and about and, um, and, and really knowing the hard work that these girls are putting in and, and sending, you know, if they have players, to so send them out and let them come and have a try. IFCBF promotes CP football all around the world. So we try to get new countries involved in CP football. At the moment we have 74 countries who have a CP football program. For new and developing countries, IFCPF has a grant available uh, to host a coach education course. The main items in the coach education course are what is CP football, introduction to classification, of course, practical coaching sessions, the laws of the game, and player recruitment. Uh, one of the most common questions asked to IFCPF is how to find new players. That is not an easy question to answer. IFCPF advises to use your own uh, website, the website of your organization or association, especially to use social media, because a lot of young people are on social media but also contact physiotherapists and doctors' departments. But one of the most important things is to use the word of mouth to spread the message. Ja, this is the least what I do. Liefde na school, I go always football with friends out on the street. I'm very happy that I can wear these leeuwen on my borst mag dragen. And, uh, El fútbol con parálisis cerebral para mí significa mucho porque es una manera de practicar el deporte que más me gusta y también de superarme día a día. Cuando se ve un deporte como tan homco, me hit, me fan, me llega a ver un capitán. Y luego cuando me llega a ver un jugador, todo lo que hacen, pero, ¿cómo hago para ser un capitán? ¿Cómo puedo ser?